YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gap. Today, I'm out here at the park. I got the Losi DBXLE 2.0 Fox Edition with the Duratrax Hatchet X tires. For y'all who don't know, I'm gonna get out here and give it a quick rip. It's another RC, man. I just can't get away from driving, man. It drives so well. So this will be my first jump attempts with it. Last time I drove it, my pinion came loose. So I had to, hopefully I got that problem fixed. So I put it back on there, got, a, got some Loctite in there. Hopefully I torqued it, I torqued it down enough to where it won't come loose again. Cause if it come loose, I won't be able to stop. <clears throat> yes. Running a 5,000 uh, milliamp 50C smart batteries in here. Oh, jumps nice and flat, nice and flat. No major nose diving or anything like that. We nose dove a little bit that time. Caught it though. We're gonna get one more jump then we're gonna get out here. I'm also gonna do a speed run on this one. Ooh, nice air. Nice air. This is a grass ripper right here, fellas. It's gonna rip your grass up. <laughs> we'll get down here, and get it to the big open area. I'm only running 5,000 milliamps, so I won't do a long bash because I wanna give it a fair shake on the speed run. I wanna give it this fair shake on the speed run, so I won't uh, bash it too long before I do the speed run on it. I'm thinking around 45, maybe the tops. If that. Get it around the bend. Come around that bend. Yes, grass ripper, fellas. That's what this is. When you put these Duratrax tires on here, six pack, uh, I mean, Hatchet X tires on here, you do not want to run this on your grass at the house if you want a pretty lawn. But it is going to tear it up. <laughs> Get over here where I can see good. Overshot. <laughs> Look at that beast cut up. Look at that beast cut up. <laughs> Come around the bend, baby. Come around that bend. Come around the bend, baby. Come around the bend. Yes, sir.
All right, let me go and get my uh, speed run in because these smart batteries, they have a automatic trickle where they trickle themselves down after they sit for so long. They, uh, they start discharging themselves. And I charged these early yesterday. Early yesterday, like maybe around like 10.30 yesterday. So I don't want to... I don't know how far, I don't know how fast the setting is. They say if you get the smart charger, you can change the setting to where you, you know, how, how long you want them to sit before they start trickling, trickling down to a good voltage. So I don't know what this, the factory setting is. So this thing is moving though. I'm gonna get on down here. And... <laughs> Got a little torque twist on that turn right there, fellas. I'm gonna get on down here and do a quick speed run right quick, see what she can do. All right, that should be tight enough. All right, we're gonna take him down. Just like the last time, I won't be passing myself with it. I'm just going to uh, run it to myself. I tend to be able to see it a little bit better that way. Steering trim is a little off. I don't know if this uh, DX2E gonna go as far as that, uh, that rugged did. Let's see though. I still got, do I still got reception? Yeah, I feel like I do, yeah I do. Get him turned around. All right, let's get him. Full throttle. Full throttle right there. He definitely should have topped out. He definitely should have topped out there. Let's see what he got. What did he do? 43. 43 miles per hour. I don't know why I keep on messing up going through all the doggone settings. Stop. Stop recording. Record again. Hit 43. See if we can do a little bit better. See if we can hit 44, 45. And that'll be good enough. Like this is another car I probably won't be touching. I may go up a little bit on the pinion. I may go up two teeth on a pinion, but I have to, before I do that, I have to get a full pack through here so I can see how, how does the motor, how hot does the motor get. All right, let's go. Ease it on, ease it on, full throttle. Oh, it cut out. Something happened. Something happened. Come on, man. It's the second time something happened to this car. I think my pinion again. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. A pinion again, fellas. Guess I didn't tighten it down tight enough. Look like this run is gonna be a short one. Got some good little ripping with it. Just cut out on me. Hope it's just a pinion. Yep, pinion. Hear it? Pinion again. Let's see what we was doing before the pinion went out. 40. It was only at 40 before the pinion went out. Now I gotta carry this big old truck all the way up the hill up there where my truck is. That's not gonna be pretty. So I have to get back to it, fellas. I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. We were able to hit 43 uh, before the pinion came loose. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. YouTube, and I'm in it.